Welcome back to my Fitness Over 40 vlog. My name is Libria Jones. I am a woman over 40, a woman of a certain age, trying my best to get a handle on my fitness. And I am vlogging a 10 week fitness challenge. I am introing this video because I am sitting here editing it. And I realized that week three and week four were a bit of a struggle. <laughs> And I didn't do the best job of capturing everything that I was doing and everything I was eating. Um, plus, I wasn't able to edit and post the week three video last Sunday like I've been doing. And so I'm putting those videos together this week in this vlog. And so I just wanted to give an intro and ask that you please bear with me. I am trying my best to be transparent and genuine about this challenge, what I'm doing well and what I'm not doing well. And uh, sometimes I'm gonna get it right and sometimes I'm not. But I hope you enjoy. Let's get started with week three. Oh, good people. It's Sunday, so I'm prepping for week three. I just spent a little bit of time with my best friend. We've been best friends. We've been friends since we were five years old. So my dopamine levels are super high. Cause I got to hang out with my bestie. We haven't hung out one-to-one -one in like four years. It's been a while. Anyway, time for meal prep. Let me tell you what my meals are for the week. My meals for this week are, breakfast is going to be, um, I'm gonna do like similar to what I did last week and make egg white, like little egg white quiches. And I'm gonna put them on at like a half a bagel. So it's gonna be salmon egg frittatas with spinach in them and cottage cheese um, on bagel. That's breakfast. Lunch is going to be burrito bowls with lean ground beef. Uh, with lean ground beef and Spanish rice. Snack one is gonna be this PB and J smoothie because it was A, it was good, but B, I have this big bag of, of, of blueberries that I need to finish using. Um, snack two, snack two is gonna be buffalo shrimp on ranch cucumbers. So I'm just gonna take some cocktail shrimp and throw some buffalo sauce on them. Uh, and dinner this week is going to be I have no recollection of what dinner is. Oh, <laughs> dinner is going to be shrimp pad thai. Um, but instead of noodles, regular noodles, I'm going to do carrot noodles. So I don't do like too many carbs. That's what we're doing. I'm excited for this week. I think that last week I did not do a good job of sticking to my meal plan. This week I know I am because everything that I listed are things that I really like. So um, I've never made this. I have made a, a pad thai before with carrot noodles. Um, but I've never made this particular recipe so I'm excited about that. Yay! I'm very, very excited for week two. I'm going to crush it. You hear me? Crush it. Oh, I have to tell you something. I just looked this up because I got one of these small things of ground beef. Now I normally, this is 1.3 pounds. 1.36 pounds was the size of the one I used. I would normally probably make this into four servings or three servings. I would definitely think this was like three servings or maybe if I didn't want to eat a lot of beef, I would think it was three. I'm sorry, four. I just looked it up, how much ground beef is in a serving. It's only three ounces. This is how much three ounces of beef looks like. So that means there's about, in this 1.3 pound, there's about seven servings. Could Have you ever made this and thought, oh, I can feed seven people with this? So we've been, I've, I've been overeating 
beef like crate what i'm mind blown right now like this little bit of beef that's a sir okay i measured it out i'm gonna update this so the math said it was seven servings because it was i think 22 ounces 1.36 pounds is 22 ounces divide that by three that's seven about seven and a half i just measured it out it it yielded five of my things and this is how much was left so i'd say it's like closer to like five and a half or five and two thirds so closer to six so it's like six servings six servings that's still like crazy still crazy good morning it is Monday, it's day one of week three. Day one of week three. I'm very excited about this week. I think I'm gonna crush it. I have decided to stop going to the gym first thing in the morning because it is my most productive brain time. It is the time that I get the most done. So I've adjusted my schedule to get up in the morning, make up my bed, get breakfast, and get things done. It's just the best time for me to actually be productive, hands on keyboard, crushing it and not necessarily the best time for me to go to the gym. And so I've adjusted my schedule to work out when my brain is tired. Now, once it's like, okay, I can't focus anymore. I can't get anything done. Then I can go to the gym. So for now, just my letting you guys know that getting up because I knew I was getting my hair braided and I would be there for about five hours. I went ahead and packed my and afternoon and snack, I'm my snack number two. Right Took it with me actually at snack um, one before I left, frittata. which was a smoothie. And then it's I the packed snack on, number two uh, and took it with bagel. me Let's try it um, out. to get my hair braided. Look, look at me being a I good look girl. crazy mess, y'all. I uh, just took my braids out because I'm getting my hair braided tonight. It's not about how my hair looks. It's about making it through this challenge and hitting my goals. <laughs> okay, let's try to see if it's good. This is definitely way too much salmon in here. I've never made this before. This is something I freestyle. I'm gonna warm this back up. I'm gonna fuck some more. Hey, bagel's good though. Mm. Mm. Y'all, it's 10, 10.47. It's 10.47. I went to get my hair braided at 3. She started at 3.30. I was supposed to be done at 8.30. So I didn't take, I took my snack, but I didn't take dinner. Excuse me, because I thought I would be home by 8.30 and I could quickly make dinner. I just got home. It's 10, 10.48. Uh, so I just made this because I don't have time to thaw out shrimp and cook. I was supposed to be eating shrimp pad thai. This is literally just lettuce, onions, some sh the shrimp, and I had already put buff buffalo sauce all over the shrimp anyway for my snack. I just need to feed myself so I can go to bed. It's not good, but it's fine. <laughs> What's up, homies? Today has not gone as planned. Today has not gone as planned. I, whew, today's been a crap show. <laughs> it's been a shit show for real. Um, well, not really a shit show. I, I, let me take that back. I <laughs> spent all day working. I spent all day working on stuff, got super focused, uh, missed my afternoon gym time. It is now 5.54. Today is Tuesday. It feels like it's Wednesday already. It feels like it's Thursday already. Anyway, um, it's six o'clock. It's six o'clock and I'm just waking up. Why am I like this? I'm about to go to the gym. I would normally go to, I've, I've been going to the, I've been trying to go to the gym. I've been trying to go to the gym at 12 in the afternoon, but today I was in the zone. I was getting stuff done. So headed to the gym. I'm going to go walk right after that. I have so much to do. Before I leave on Friday, 
Also, also, I hated my breakfast, y'all. So I ended up having to go to the store this morning and buy some eggs to make myself some breakfast. It's been a mess. Today's been a mess. Uh, but we're going to pull it together. We, we, we working with it. We rolling with the punches. No excuses. We still going to the gym. We still going to eat well. We still going to lose these pounds. Let's go. Just need y'all to see how good my dinner looks. I mean, come on. It just looks so good. It just looks so good. It's a pad thai shrimp with carrots, no noodles. Hello, it is, ooh, it's late. It's 10.50 on Tuesday. So day two, week three. Um, just wanna give a quick recap of the day. I got really flustered today because I have a lot going on. I'm leaving town on Friday um, and I have a lot to do before I leave. <laughs> so much to do before I leave. Um, and today so many things didn't go as planned, starting with yesterday when I went to go get my hair braided and it took seven hours when I didn't expect that. So just so many things didn't go as planned this morning. My, uh, I didn't have breakfast, so I ended up eating breakfast late. I won't go into all of it, but basically, um, I ate differently today. I ate off of my plan today because I had to veer off of that. Uh, I didn't go to the gym at uh, noon the way I had planned to because I was working too much. Like it was just a lot. My day just did not go as planned. Um, and I skipped my snacks, but you will find out that it worked out in my favor. Um, but yeah, I have a lot to do before my trip on Friday. So I have been really, really like, on edge all day, not not anxiety, but more like, oh, I gotta do this, oh, I gotta do that. And then my brain, I'm very addicted to productivity. So my brain is like, okay, it's making checklists and plans and all of that all the time. And sometimes it's overwhelming. Um, so I was just getting overwhelmed. And when I got to the gym, I just felt so like, go, 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 go. I felt like I was in a rush to work out. It's a workout. like. Why am I in a rush? Like, it's like I, I had to hurry up and rush through my workout to get home to get more stuff done is how I felt. I just felt frazzled is probably the best way. Frazzled and rushed. Um, and so I just, I remember I dropped my phone. That pissed me off. And then I broke a fingernail and that pissed me off. And then I got in the gym and realized I had left my headphones in the car. And I was like, God, this day. And I was like, you know what? I need to calm the frick down. Like, what is wrong with me? Like, calm down. So I ended up turning on the Calm app when I got in the gym before my workout. I decided I'm gonna turn on the Calm app and just do a quick meditation because I'm up here and I need to I need to come down because I love lifting weights. Like, that's my meditation. Like, that's my time to just chill. And I, it just wasn't turning out that way. So anyway, I'm so glad I did that because it completely changed the game. Um, I ended up having a really, really great workout uh, it was fantastic. And I was going to walk today. I was going to go, um, to the park and walk right after my workout. Cause I went to the gym super late and go walk. But because it was getting dark, I decided to just walk on the treadmill. So all in all, good workout. Good. It turned out to be a good day. It, it turned out to be a good day, even though I was wearing myself out. And it's funny because most of the stuff that I'm insisting that I do are self-imposed deadlines. It's wild how I will like make myself crazy about all the things I gotta do, but I'm imposing the deadlines. But I look forward to tomorrow being more well organized and Thursday being better. I really need to figure out Friday because I'm gonna be flying all day. I'm gonna be flying pretty much all day Friday. Anyway, day two, day two, week three, done. As I'm editing this video, I just realized I didn't record any videos day three and day four. I did work out on day three. I did go for a walk that afternoon as well. It was a super busy day. And then day four was a day before I traveled, which was also a very busy day. And instead of walking, I went to play pickleball, which was super fun. And then on Friday, I had a super early flight to California. I ate breakfast in the lounge. I had a really just light breakfast, just scrambled eggs, a piece of toast, um, and a piece of sausage, I think. So super light breakfast. And then I think I landed around 
11 local time. I think I got to the hotel around 11 local time. I went straight to the gym. Like I was exhausted, but I went straight to the gym to work out. And then I went downstairs to lunch and I did not take my phone or my camera to lunch because they were both dying, but I had a salad. I had a salad and salmon. It was delicious and healthy. So I did pretty well on Friday as well. Dinner was small plates. I had oysters, some corn ribs, some delicious peach salad, maybe some fried nuggets and a little taste of whiskey. Oh, this girl is lying. This girl is so sweet. It ain't even gone into the 180s at all. You're so nice. Oh, I'm taking this girl home with me. I like you better. I like you better. What's up, y'all? I feel so good about myself today. I feel so good today. I got up. I got. It's amazing what sleep can do. I got a lot of sleep. I got in the bed at 8.30. We went to this restaurant, hung out, and then I got in the bed at 8.30. I was asleep by 9.30. My menopause, my perimenopause alarm woke me up at like four. No, three. It woke me up at three. And I was like, no, we're not doing this today. I'm going back to sleep. Normally once I wake up, I'm up. But I went back to sleep for about an hour and a half. I feel amazing. And my skin looks so good. Oh, and my shoulders look so good. Ooh, I am feeling myself today. I hope you're feeling yourself today too. Mm, mm, mm. Today is Saturday, so it is day six of week three. I just finished doing an ab workout. I'm about to go walk around the city before it's time to do all our activities today. And then um, I'm gonna walk around and get some pictures and then go get a nice macro balanced breakfast. Day six, let's go. I got a protein, I got some fruit, and I got a carb. I did a everything bagel with a little bit of cream cheese. So that is my breakfast, breakfast. <laughs> All right, breaking in here again because I realized that uh, once I started traveling, I kind of stopped vlogging <laughs> and I didn't do a recap of week three. So here goes. I'm going to read my notes because I don't want to miss anything. Um, I close my exercise rings every day except Sunday, even though I was traveling, even though I was pretty stressed out last week, actually. Um, I went to the gym on Friday, like right after I landed in Sacramento, which I'm super proud of. Um... And then on Saturday, we did a lot of walking around. We went to this huge farmer's market that they have on Saturdays in Sacramento. And then we did an art walk, which was pretty cool. But it was a lot of walking. It was so much walking. Um, I hit 16,678 steps that day. Yeah. Um, I actually hit 10,000 steps every single day during week three, except for Monday, when I was getting my hair braided, y'all remember that, um, and Wednesday, which was kind of a crazy day. So I hit 10,000 steps Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. That's four out of six days. Sunday doesn't count. I don't do walking on Sundays. So I hit, I actually don't do it on Saturdays either. So technically I hit it four out of five days. I hit it four out of five days, five days. So Saturday was a makeup day. I'm so happy. I actually just realized that. Um, as for macros, I can't even tell you because I didn't track Thursday or Friday. I can tell you um, that I ate well most of the week, except for Thursday night. I was, I realized that when I am stressed out or angry or t sad or tired, I order Chinese food. So I ordered Chinese food Thursday night. I was a little bit stressed out. I had to travel the very next morning and I had a whole lot to do. Um, and then Sunday night, I had a burger and a beer for dinner, which normally would not have been a bad thing, but the Chinese food plus the burger and the beer, it was a little much, um, but not a bad week overall. Uh, definitely a hectic one. All right, let's get into week four. Good morning. It is Monday, week four, day one. I am honestly feeling discouraged this morning. I'm just keep it on it with y'all. This trip has taken me out <laughs> just a, a bit. I came into this week, into this trip with a plan. Um, I knew we were visiting wineries and breweries and I was like, I will do the tastings. And we were going out to eat to a couple places and I was like, I'm not getting cocktails. I did not get any cocktails 
at any of the places that we went to. Um, but the wine tastings were a lot, a lot. <laughs> anyway, um, it's 6 a.m. I'm still in California. I'm headed to the gym because we are transferring to another place today. We're leaving Sacramento and going to some national parks and we won't be staying at this hotel. I really don't wanna work out today, but I don't know if there's a gym where we're going because I haven't looked it up. Just in case, I'm just gonna go get this workout done. I'm just gonna go lift these weights and get this workout done so I can start the week off right. Starting the week off right. I've already, already ordered breakfast and it is egg whites. <laughs> it is egg whites, avocado. So I'm, I'm starting with a really good breakfast. Um, that's it. It's week one. Nope. That's it. It's day one, week three. Let's go. So Monday after I worked out, we went to um, this state park that has these really steep caverns. And we walked down this very tight space and did what is the equivalent of a Stairmaster for a while. We basically walked down 234 winding steps. This is a 200 year old staircase, y'all. And then we walked back up it to get out. So I got my steps in. Hey guys, today's Tuesday. It is day two of week four. And I will not have, <laughs> I won't have a readout for how many steps I got. Or I won't, my ring probably won't be closed today because my watch died. But I just hiked up to a waterfall in Yosemite. So I definitely got my workout in today. Just to be clear, the workout was done and it is freaking gorgeous out here. Wait till I show you these views. I'm gonna mind my business, ma'am. Uh, are you sure that's a good idea? <laughs> I almost said y'all are almost there, but I didn't want to do nobody like that. I don't want to be that one. Since you're by yourself, you go. Yeah, it's a red, it's a, it's a red Look at this bag, friend, yes. Okay, friends, that was pretty much the last thing I recorded for week four. Yosemite was beautiful. This was a beautiful experience, but I was no match for how busy press trips are. This is my very first press trip with a tourism board, and this trip specifically was with about five tourism boards so it was especially busy and I just was no match for it and when I got back to Tallahassee I was beyond exhausted I did not work out for the remainder of the week I got back on Thursday morning I left Sacramento at 11 p.m. on Wednesday and I got to Tallahassee at, at 10 a.m. on Thursday and haven't been back in the gym and have not necessarily been eating well. Not necessarily, I have not been eating well this whole week. I got back on the scale when I uh, returned and my weight was at 188. Needless to say, I am very disappointed in last week. I think had I been more intentional, I would be further along because I didn't do that bad on week three. Um, I know that scale said 177. It was a lie, but I definitely <laughs> was probably not where I am this week. I think week four took me out and I am tempted to be like, let me just start the week over. Let me start week four over. Y'all let me know in the comments. Should I start week four over or should I just keep pushing? We'll see. We'll see what I decide to do. Um, but that is week four. Thank you for rocking with me. I, um, while I feel frustrated, and upset, I don't feel discouraged. Um, I actually feel very encouraged to really do well next week to make up for last week. So week four done, let's go week five.